Welcome to week 50. I keep saying it, but it's a shock to me as well that it's going that quickly. But week 50 of my weight loss journey, uh, obviously from uh, the lovely island of Gili Air in Indonesia. I hope you enjoy. My name is Mark and I'm here to help you live a better, healthier life. My goal is to help as many people as I can get into shape and improve their quality of life. Now, if this is your first time here and you want to learn more about practical and effective ways to improve your health and fitness, then start now by hitting the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you don't miss any of our videos going forward. And now, without further ado, let's jump right in. Okay, so accountability. Uh, over the last week, um, I've gone back to work um, for a few days this week. So I've reduced the amount of uh, dives that I was doing last week just so I get used to the actual uh, time zone difference because uh, I'm effectively working from 5 p.m. local time to 1 a.m. local time. Um, so doing you know two, three uh, dives in a day and then doing a shift at work uh, is a bit too much. So I think I've got the routine right now, which is gonna be um, one or two dives in the morning, a little bit of a sleep in the afternoon, uh, then do the work overnight uh, with a couple of days off uh, from scuba diving during the week. And on those off days, I'll be going to the local gym. Um, the local gym was definitely an experience. Uh, uh, it is hot and humid, uh, and although there are fans, uh, as soon as you step away from a fan, you become a sweaty mess, even more than normal. Uh, and normally I'm a sweaty mess in the UK. So um, scuba dives, uh, we're aiming for, I'm, I'm aiming for about uh, 10 scuba dives in a week. Um, that's about 500 calories per scuba dive. Um, that's a fair amount of calories to, to add to the deficit. We've also, being brutally honest, as I said in the last video, um, we had a two week holiday where we ate out a lot. Um, I had quite a few beers and it made a holiday out of it. We're now back into uh, a routine of eating more at home, um, having healthier options when eating out. Um, and apart from um, when there's a sporting event or something on like this weekend, where we actually, with various Islanders, got to watch the, uh, the uh, rugby union, which was awesome. Um, we are concentrating a bit more now on you know healthier eating at home. Um, one of the things that has actually been the biggest challenge over the last couple of weeks um, is just the amount of water you need to drink. I know you're meant to drink sort of three liters in a day um, anyway, but given the fact that it's that hot uh, and humid and you are sweating buckets, um, water is becoming uh, challenge I think is the phrase so I've got my trusty uh, uh, trusty bottle uh, insulated bottle um, so you can have some cold water but just drinking the amount of water you need to you really do need to start you know drinking one of those uh, as you get up in the morning and going through so I'm trying to do better with that uh, that is going to prove a challenge I think but certainly in this last week We've been doing the scuba dives, um, we've been doing, uh, I've gone to the gym a couple of times, uh, and it's actually really enjoyable, this, it's not permanent, but this change in lifestyle for the next three months has been absolutely fantastic so far. Uh, the weather helps, you know, waking up with the sunrise uh, without an alarm clock um, is actually um, mostly really enjoyable. There's been a couple of mornings where the sun's risen and the cockerels start making their noises uh, that you think, mm, I wish I had a pair of earphones and an insulated uh, window. But for the most part, it's been absolutely fantastic so far. So in the week ahead, what is the plan? Um, so kind of very enjoyably more of the same. It is a case of um, Scuba diving one or two times a day with a couple of days off. Um, gym on those off days. And the reason I say gym on the off days is simply the fact that it gets stupidly hot by about 11 o'clock 
Um, so if I'm not scuba diving, the first scuba dive is at 8.30 in the morning. And that's the time you want to be halfway through your exercises at the gym. Um, otherwise it becomes very uncomfortable for me being a, a, a newly arrived Islander uh, because it gets so hot you know, over the sort of lunchtime hours from about 11 o'clock till about four or five o'clock, it's just hot. Um, particularly given the season, there's not as much um, wind, there's not as much of a breeze. So if I don't go first thing in the morning to the gym, uh, I don't think I'm gonna be able to do a full exercise regime. I suppose I could go for a short period of time, just do a little bit. Uh, I might consider that, it just popped into my head. But I don't think spending an hour in the gym uh, on the, the hottest bits of the day is going to be good for anybody, including me. So scuba diving with the uh, trips to the gym thrown in. One of the unexpected little bits of exercise. Now, the island we're on, Gilly Air, is not the biggest island in the world. Um, it is um, less than a couple of kilometers long and wide, but it is quite nice being able to jump on a bike and do the the rounds if you like now i say that for a couple of reasons one a bike you're doing some more exercise more exercise is good i've said that so many times you know just doing a little bit more than you were before so even now going from one place to, to another is on a bike whereas working from home in the uk i was literally going from the bedroom to the living room to the to the office and back again um so more exercise is good so that's been fun but there's also an added advantage that i'd never thought about while riding a bike in a tropical island you cause your own breeze it is like having a portable fan so as you're pedaling along not only are you doing some more exercise but you're actually feeling a lot cooler than you were when you were sitting around waiting to go on a scuba dive or having a drink of coffee so that's uh, a second hidden advantage of cycling on a small tropical island, which is you take your own fan with you, which sounds daft, but when it's 31 de degrees and humid as hell, a breeze is lovely, lovely. Although maybe not in the middle of the island where it gets all the heat over the day, because then it just feels like you're cycling through an oven with a hairdryer blowing hot air in your face. Uh, which is not the nicest, but still better than walking. So let's just go with it um, because it is an extra bit of exercise that I'm doing and currently enjoying. Um, I'm not quite at the point of forgiving my father for putting me off uh, cycling when I was a kid uh, by trying to cycle in the Lake District, which was not fun. Uh, if anybody doesn't know the Lake District, it is lakes and mountains and biking is not exactly easy. It's not like cycling in Holland, where the idea of a hill is a bridge over a canal or a railway. Um, so definitely a, a different experience of cycling and I am actually enjoying it. And I did thought did pop through my head uh, when I was talking about enjoying exercise that I might start cycling in the UK, just not up mountains, because that would be too much, like far too much. So anyway, the week ahead, scuba diving, um, cycling, a couple of trips to the gym, and also uh, one of the things that I need to do today uh, once I've got back from my scuba dive is go and get more shopping in uh, for dinners uh, in the house, just to try and do the, the healthy option there. The reason we don't shop too much, too big, there's a couple of reasons. Obviously on a small tropical island, there isn't the big supermarkets that you're used to in the UK and things are fresh. So sometimes they have things in and sometimes they don't. Um, we haven't really struggled so far, but it is one of those things where you need to plan ahead and actually shop more frequently, but with smaller shops. Um, so that has been taking a little bit of getting used to of actually going and buying the next couple of days worth of food rather than buying a week's at a time. In the UK, uh, we got a, a weekly shop delivered to us every week. And that was our shop for the week. We had a meal plan. It's a little bit more difficult here for several reasons. Smaller shops, one. But also, with the hot weather, you're never entirely sure how hungry you're going to be or how much you're going to want to eat. Um, so it's quite 
challenging to actually think ahead and in terms of what you'd like to eat because I certainly don't want to be eating a hot curry or a big chili um, when it's uh, as hot as it is at the moment. So working on that piece this week and hopefully get into a routine for that around diving and work. So that's the week ahead. As always, if you've enjoyed the video, please do smash the like button and I will see you in the next video.